My name is Jay Smooth. My favorite team is the Carolina Panthers. And my favorite player is Cam Newton. Let's go ahead and get rolling right into this Connected Careers Mode video. Hey guys, this is Jay Smooth here. It's the Saints versus the Panthers. A big rivalry. The Saints were swept by the Panthers in real life. The Panthers finished it off yesterday. Or Sunday, uh, the 30th. Beating the Saints 44-38. That was a good game. I enjoyed that game very, very, very much. Because, well, the Saints suck. And the Panthers, actually, even though they did not make the playoffs and they were 7-9, and nine, they're actually a pretty good team. You'd have to admit that the Panthers are a pretty good team. I mean, they did lose to the Chiefs. But, anyways, there I am again holding that sheet of whatever the heck that is. That, like, is that cardboard? Is that laminated? What the heck is that? I, can, I, I really don't know. But, uh, it's got all the plays on it, I believe, so... You know, that's our key to success, right? So we got some tricks, sleeves. So what we need to do is we need to execute. Because execution is what wins ball games. So let's go ahead and get hype up in this huddle. Yeah. Alright. And let's move on. So here we are, our first drive on defense. Because we always elect to kick it. Uh, there goes Joey Graham breaking Godfrey's tackle and getting a few extra before tackled by Moonerlin. I missed that user right at the first part of that uh, play there. And that was unfortunate because that's what gave him, you know, th those yardage that he, that he probably did not deserve. And then you see right there Moore, Lance Moore getting a few yards there and getting absolutely destroyed on that tackle. So, Breeze drops back again, and Charles Johnson sacks him. And whenever that happens, we got to say, talk to Chuck from that Charles Swab commercial. So, we're playing still one defense here, and we're going to stop Lance Moore one last time. We're going to force the field goal. field goal is up, and it is good. So, it's 3 nothing Saints, but that is okay, because Madden is a simulator. So that means that whatever happens in this game should happen in real life. And since this game already happened, that means that I know I'm going to get a W. Uh, I hope I am. So going with the jet sweep, we're going to get the first down, but nothing more. Because, well, we got stuffed over and over again. So I did some research. It, it really wasn't too extensive. It was just Google images. But I do know for a fact that the jerseys... For the Carolina Panthers, the Nike version of these jerseys are incorrect because the Panthers away jersey has a light blue stripe on the arm, and that is wide left. The away jersey has a light blue stripe on the left, or not on the left, on the arms, and it's outlined by black. In the game, it's opposite. You know, you could go look at my first video and you could tell D'Angelo Williams was not dominating the Buccaneers like he is today but you could tell that the jerseys are wrong in Madden 13 go Cam Newton what a beast touchdown unfortunately Cam Newton couldn't do a Superman because Steve Smith jumped on his back because Newton carries his team on his back no, I'm just kidding but anyways Henderson's gonna get a good game there and as I was saying the jerseys are completely wrong I mean not so wrong that it bugs me a ton with as far as the home jerseys are concerned but the gray stripe i think it's actually white in this game but it's supposed to be gray steve smith can turn a slant into big gains we call it yak he's going for the touchdown and comes up a couple yards short but as i was saying you know the the, the stripe that is white should be smaller and it should be gray and that just really bugs me that it's white. It just looks awkward. It's, I don't know. It just doesn't look right. But uh, anyways, as you guys all know, the Panthers did not make the playoffs, so I have nothing to look forward to next week other than more Madden 13. I, I, I don't know. Um, got one last week of breaks. So that's pretty cool. But uh, as, I, as I was saying, you know, not nothing to look forward to because the Panthers did not make the playoffs. Madden 13 says... It's one of my goals. I need to make the playoffs with these Panthers. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Hopefully, maybe, hopefully. So uh, we're going to go ahead and play some red zone defense here. Third and ten. Sproles stuffed. Nice job there. Getting into the backfield. A tackle for a loss. 
So with the time expiring there for the two minute warning, they're going to try it again. And this is up and in it is good. So two for three on the day for the kicker. And it's 14 to 6. And one thing that I've noticed in Madden 13 is that Brandon LaFell and Steve Smith are extremely fast. But another thing that I noticed in Madden 13 is that, well, the commentators don't say a lot of names. Uh, they always refer to the quarterback, whoever he may be, as the quarterback did this. The quarterback needs to do that. The quarterback did not do that, and the quarterback is a quarterback. And really, they just don't. You know, they don't say names, and, you know, that, I don't know, whatever. We get a field goal there, and Breeze decides just to just to kneel it in the half, and we go into halftime with a 17-6 to lead, and I am enjoying this so far. I look at Sproles, break a couple of tackles, tell them, tell them people to get off of me, get a few yards, and everything's all good for Sproles. He's going to get even more. What are that? Look at that block. He's going to be gone. He didn't gain much more than 20 or 30 right there, but definitely a big gain. So they're going to get it out to Thomas this time. Pierre Thomas on the screen and nowhere to go. So now it's third down. And Breeze in the shotgun again. He's going to drop back, and he's going to find the open man. Wait a minute. He's not open. And now it's fourth and long. So they're going to go ahead and kick the field goal once more, and it is good. Yes, it is. 17-9. to nine. Still have a nice lead here in the third quarter. And we're going to go ahead and start our drive from inside the 30. Give it to D'Angelo Williams, and just like that, we're on the other side. So, Newton dropping back, and he's going to find the open. Oh, okay. Watch that again, and you'll see Steve Smith got got hung up there. Cla ran into somebody, I guess. I don't know. Medley with the kick, and it is good. And it is now 20-9, to 11-point lead here for the Panthers in Carolina. John Beeson with the sack. Nice job. For some reason, I thought his name was Mike Beeson at one point. I was like, Beeson, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Oh, it's Mike Beeson, but it really wasn't. Anyways, uh, Breeze is going to throw this one as far as he can throw it. But uh, it's just deflected, and now it's fourth and seven. And that's the end of the third quarter. So we're going to go ahead and jump straight into the fourth quarter with the with the Saints having the ball back. Lance Moore getting a nice gate in there to keep the drive alive. Because that's what they do. They just flip it out to the sides or run a corny screen route. I mean, look at that. Dang it, man. Pierre Thomas getting a few more yards. And, you know, we need to stop that. So they're going to go ahead and find the open man, which happens to be Morgan. And that is a touchdown. We have an injury timeout. I don't know who got injured because I played this a little while ago. Anyways, they're going for two, but it won't work. So we're going to go ahead and return this kick. And finding the hole, he's going to break it loose. Oh, the he fumbled. Oh, so now it's 20 to 15. And not only are we in trouble with their field position, but a touchdown takes the lead. So we need to play some good defenses, third and long, and now it's fourth and long as well. So they're going to hold him to the field goal, and they're going to go ahead and drain some of this clock, which makes absolutely no sense. But then they eventually kick it up, and it is good, and it is 20 to 18. They're going to go ahead and kick it straight off to us, and we're going to go ahead and take advantage of this with D'Angelo Williams running it to the outside. What a lane. He gets all the way up the field. The Saints are calling timeouts. They're out of them now. And D'Angelo Williams is going to just run right over that dude and pick up the first down. This ball game is over. Newton lets the clock run dry. And, well, that's pretty much it. So, and one thing I want to let you guys know is that the Panthers are actually a good team. I mean, all those close games that they lost, they've lost... I believe it was seven games within a touchdown, which is the most that any team has lost uh, by six. There you see D'Angelo Williams holding that, that Gatorade there, player of the game, good job. But as I was saying, they were seven and nine. They improved the record on last year, and that was a very good animation right there. I like seeing that. Congratulating my players. Definitely deserved it. But they were seven and nine, 
and seven of those losses were within a touchdown. I mean, they barely lost to the Falcons in their first matchup and barely lost to many, many, many other teams. As I said, there's seven of them. So, as you can tell, they, they're, they're a decent team. They're coming along, you know. And there you see what they have to say about me and my team. They're saying, Panthers, making the playoffs. They're not really saying that, but we are. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And check out my other video. Because, well, it was a pretty good game. Peace. I'm out.